Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have x to the ninth power minus x cubed equal to 6 and we need to solve this interesting equation. And we all know that if we have ninth power right here we will have a lot of rules. We will have no more than nine, 9 rules and we need to find all of these. I want to show you my approach how I solve this and of course you can easily easily solve it by yourself after this video. So first of all we have x cubed right here and x to the ninth power it's really good to express as x cubed to the third power. So easily we can express as x cubed to the third power. And of course the same minus x cubed equal to equal to 6. So as you can see we have x cubed and we have x cubed as well so we can write a substitution. So let x cubed equal to equal to t. So if x could be equal to t then right here we'll have t cube. Just plug in this x cube equal to t, t cube and minus t and minus 6 equal to 0. I just bring this 6 on the left. So we will have cube equation. How can I solve this equation? I want to show you my approach how I solve it. Of course there is there are a lot of a lot of way how can we solve this cube equation but I want to show you my my approach. So firstly we can we need to factor we need to find the factors of this 6. So factors, factors. So what factors we will have? Plus minus 1, we all know this, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 6. And right now I need to find only one, only one factor that is really good to this cube equation. And secondly, I show you a really good trick how can we factor out from this, from this equation this this expression with uh, this factor. So first let's check real quick these factors. So we'll have plus 1, minus 1. So plus 2 and minus 2. So plus 3 and minus 3 and plus 6 and minus 6. So as you can see 1 and minus 1 is not good because minus 1 plus 1, the minus 6 not equal to 0 and minus 1 as well. So secondly 2 we will have 2 cube, 8 minus 2 minus 6, this is good for us. And right now of course we can we can stop, but I want to show you that right here we don't have any any good factors, so minus 2 is not good because 2 is good, and 3 will have 27 minus 3, not good, minus 3 as well, and 6 of course will not good because we will have 216, which is not good for us. So as you can see only one factor is good for us, this is plus 2. So we can express our equation in the next way. So we will have we can express this as t minus 2 and we need to find in other in other parentheses equal to equal to 0. How can we find this these parentheses? If we need to factor t minus 2 we need to rewrite this expression in another way. So we'll have t cube minus t and minus 6. But we all know that we need to factor out t minus 2. So take a look we, we write t cube and we know that we need to factor t minus 2. So we write minus 2 t square and plus 2t square. If we add this we will have 0, so nothing change. It will be the same as right here. This equal to 0. And what are we going to do next? We all know that we have t but we need to factor t minus 2. With this one we need to write minus 4t and plus 3t. And minus 6 in the end equal to 0. So if we subtract or if we add these elements we will have t. So this equation is the same as this one but I write it in another way. Because right now we can factor out from these two elements, let's factor out t square. If we factor out it, we will have t minus 2. From here 2t square minus 4t factoring plus 2t, we will have t minus 2 and the last step plus 3 and we factor out t minus 2. So as you can see right now using this, using this trick we can right now factor out t minus 2 because this is this is the common. And if we factor out it, we will have our final equation t minus 2 and times t square plus 2t and plus 3 equal to equal to 0. And we need to find this, this equation and then we will plug in this finding our x. So firstly product equal to 0, then this element t minus 2 equal to 0 or second t square plus 2t and plus 3 equal to equal to 0. So t minus 2 equal to 0, t equal to t equal to 2. And right here we, we can find our t as well. So we will have firstly I want to show you that this root right here for minus 12 we will have that this square root which we have in our formula 
minus b plus square root b square minus 3ac, this is less than zero. So as you can see right here, we will have complex complex roots. So if you're interested in this, we will have two pairs of complex roots in, in this second case. But in first case, we will have really good really good answer because we will have the t equal to 2, but x cube equal to t. So x cube equal to 2 and x equal to taking cubes root from both of the side and x equal to cubes root of 2. Of course, we can find right here two more complex roots because we will have third power. So right here, this one in real numbers. And right here, we will have two complex complex roots, two complex roots. But we're interested in real numbers, so this is one and only real number root. And moreover, in this pair, we will have two complex roots. And right here, as you can see, we will have a lot of roots because we'll have two using t and right here put in this x cube we will have two more and two more so a lot of complex roots a lot of a lot of co complex complex roots in this case and in real number we'll have x equal to cubes root of two so what we'll have we'll have our our answer so firstly express in this x to the ninth power Secondly, solving cube equation. This is my method. How I solve this equation? Of course, you can solve it using formula, but I, as always, I find one factor and try to write this thing to factor out this this t minus two. This expression and this one is the same, are the same, but right here this equal to zero and this equal to t. But moreover, if we factor out, if we factor in from here t minus two will have a really good really good answer so write write your approach how you solve this cube equation how can you easily solve this cube equation maybe using using formula it will be really interesting to read it and thank you so much for watching see you in the next videos